In this problem, we're given relations as ordered pairs, and we're asked to first determine whether the relation is a function, two, find the domain of the relation, and three, find the range of the function. So in this case, what we're looking for is for a relation to be a function for every unique input, there's only one output. If we have an input with more than one output, then it's not a function. Uh, we'll look at later on how to do this graphically, uh, how to uh, determine if it's a, a function uh, from its graph, and we can use the relation in order to graph it and, and then determine if it's a function. But for now, we're just going to look at the sets of ordered pairs. So with part A, we're given the, the ordered pairs negative 3, negative 6, negative 2, negative 4, negative 1, negative 2, 0, 0, 1, 2, 2, 4, and 3, 6. So each x value is matched with only one y value. In other words, if you look at this, there aren't any x values that are repeated. We have negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. So if we have no x values that are repeated, then there's no chance for there to be two outputs for the same output, two y values for the same x value. So with part 1, it is a function. If you want to give a brief description as to why, for every x value, there is only one y value. Now for the second two parts, for the second and third parts of the, the problem, uh, we go back to what we originally looked at in previous problems. And that's that the domain is the set of x values. So what are our x values in this problem? They are negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. And the range just as it was in the past, is the set of y values. So for this we have for this relation we have y equals negative six, negative four, negative two, zero, two, four, and six. So it would be the set of those y values. So negative six, negative four, negative two, zero, two, four, and 6. And I'm going to go ahead and change this up here because what if one of them isn't a function? Find the range of the relation. Alright, so part 1. Is it a function? Well, we have 8, 4, 2, 0, 2, 4, and 8. So if you'll notice, we have several repeated inputs, several repeated x values. <clears throat> so with this coordinate over here, with this ordered pair, we have 8, negative 4. With the one on the right-hand side, we have 8, 4. So it's the same x value, two different y values. We can say the same thing for every point, 4, negative 2, and 4, 2. Same input, different output. 2, negative 1, and 2, 1, same input, different output. Uh, and so we would have two points that are directly above and below one another, and, and that tells us that it is not a function. And as a brief description of why, for multiple... x values there are more than one y value the second and third parts are still the same 
domain is the set of x values so I'm going to put those in order we have eight four two zero two four eight so our domain is going to be in in ascending order and again you don't have to do this this in ascending order but I always do zero two four and eight and then our range is going to be the set of y values and those already go in ascending order in the way the the ordered pairs are listed we have negative four negative two negative one zero one two and four so the range is negative four negative two negative one zero one two and four so in our first part it was a function because for every x value there was only one y value and in our second problem second part of the problem that relation was not a function because there were multiple x values that had multiple y values we have eight that yields a, a y value of negative four eight yields a y value of four four and negative two and four and two two and negative one and two and one the only input that didn't have multiple outputs was the point zero zero